Hello everyone, now let's talk about path traversal attacks. So path traversal attacks are also called as directory traversal attacks. So in these kind of attacks, the directory browsing is allowed on a remote web server and if the directory browsing is allowed on a server, then what the attacker can do? The attacker can try to access files from different folders or from a different directories. So the main goal of the attacker can try is to access the files which are present outside the root directory or outside the home directory of that web servers. So these files are server internal files which are not accessible by the users. So by using these kind of attacks, path traversal attacks, the attacker can access these files which results in full compromise of system. Now let's see how path traversal attack works. Now let's see how path traversal or directory browsing attack works. So here you can see that right now I'm on Mutriday web application. So let's go here OS 2013 and here you will find a category of security misconfiguration and inside it here is one challenge directory browsing. Let me just open it up and here you will see what it's saying. So it's saying that some of the web servers are actually misconfigured which allows directory browsing which means in most of the web application or the servers are actually misconfigured which actually allows users to access its directories and to see that what's inside the directories and what are their files. So most of the web application has disabled the directory browsing whereas the most of the web application has enabled the directory browsing. Now let's see that whether this Mutility web application has enabled the directory browsing or disabled the directory browsing. So as a pen tester what one can do there are different different techniques in order to find whether the directory browsing or the path traversal attack is actually enabled or not. So the, the first technique is to using a burp suite because in the last video I showed you that the Kali Linux contains a lot of word list file which contains lot of dic di which contains lot of words dictionary words. So uh, one can configure its burp suite intruder module to attack this web application and try to find the important directories and let, then we will see that whether that directories are present or not. The second thing is that we can just commonly guess the directory name and we will see that whether that directory lists out all the file for us or not. And if that directory is present and it's listing all the files for us which means this web application is directory browsing vulnerable. So if I just erase this thing so here you will see that here is one directory mutily day and if I just hit enter we'll just get prompted inside this index.php file. Now make a fake guess that there must be an images directory inside this mutilide web application from where these images these icons are coming from. So now let me just write down here images and let's see whether the directories are pre is present or not images and if I just hit enter here you will see that we are able to access this images directory and here you will see it's all the files. So if I just open any file here you will see that file just go back. So here you can see that this mutilated web application is actually vulnerable of directory browsing. So instead of images let's just try to guess one more directory called as includes and if I just hit enter here you will see that the files which are present inside the includes directory some PHP files some configuration files. So what one can do is one can configure its burp suite to attack this web application by using the word list. Now let me gonna show you some word list in Kali Linux which one can use. So the word list is present inside this directory. Here you can see. Hey, so here you can see there are two directories dir and dir buster. It's a directory buster. Let me just go here. And here you will see there are a lot of files. Now let me just edit this big.txt file and let's see what kind of directories or the file names it have. Here you will see a lot of file names or directory names which one can use. So let me just search it like admin here you will see the directory name is installed admin 
and so on and so forth. So this was all about path traversal or directory browsing attack. So as a penetration tester or as a secure web developer, I recommend you to please disable directory browsing in your web application. So in this video we have covered that what is path traversal attack and direct dictionary and directory browsing issues. So thanks for watching this video.